What is up, Dong Army? It's your boy Royce. So uh, yesterday officially marked the beginning of the qualifying exam for my bioengineering PhD. And uh, this is a time period for me where I am not expected to go to lab. So instead I'm expected to spend my time 100% reading papers and writing this mock grant proposal that I'll then submit to a committee of bioengineering faculty by the end of it. So it started pretty exactly at noon yesterday and I had some, uh, not gonna lie, pretty frantic thoughts right out the gates. Like, wow, um, I don't have to go to lab. That's amazing. And uh, I went immediately to the gym, played basketball for like two hours. It was pretty great. This is right when the prompt came out. Um, and I didn't really get much work done yesterday. So, um, but today I promised myself, I'm gonna get some work done. You know, I'm saying it on camera. So you guys are holding me accountable. Um, I can't, I can't lie to my fans. You know what I mean? <laughs> so um, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen today. But um, anyways, let's talk about the qualifying exam. It looks really different from school to school, even from department to department within a given school. And you know, it has different structures. It even has different names. You know, it's called the quals or qualifying exam here at Penn uh, in the bioengineering department. I think other names include uh, prelims or preliminary exams. Another one might be, you know, candidacy exam. I'm actually not too sure. That might refer to something else. I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually not too sure. But uh, hey, it's my video. I get to say whatever I want. So whatever alternative facts that I'm, I'm spewing to you guys, you guys have no choice but to accept it, right? To be honest with you, it varies between departments within a given school. So at Penn, you know, the bioengineering department has a different qualifying exam than the, you know, cellular biology department or whatever the heck they call it. And so the qualifying exam or quals is an exam taken by all PhD students in their first or second year of their PhD. And um, it's just to assess if you're ready for the rest of your PhD, if you're ready to become a full-blown candidate uh, for your PhD. They just basically test to see if you are knowledgeable in your field or if you're able to think critically and come up with your own experiments. And so for the bioengineering department at UPenn, they block out for you a three week period of time. At the beginning of those three weeks, you get a prompt. You have no idea what it's gonna be going into it, but it's something related to your research. Uh, so you get the prompt and then you have two weeks to write a written grant proposal. So you're just basically being a PI and you're writing a grant. And then one week after that to prepare an oral presentation that you'll present in front of your committee. So the committee of professors, they're gonna read your grant proposal and they're also gonna to listen to your oral presentation and grill you for like an hour right after um, just to make sure that you understand the material. And so the quals that other schools, other departments administer, uh, you know, look very different from mine. So they might be still, you know, you're defending a grant proposal, but this is based directly on your research and you have to show, you know, your preliminary data from your first two years of your PhD. You know, it's the same kind of exercise where you're writing a grant and you're presenting it. Other departments might do like written exams. So it's like a finals week for you. They'll give you like four different classes and um, you just take exams for each of those um, over like two days or something. Or if the department is run by real sadists, then they'll have you actually come into their office and they'll give you a whiteboard and you have to solve out the problems. You have like two hours to solve them right in front of them and um, they can like grill you with questions. And uh, that to me, I think is the most stressful of it all. And so the very fortunate thing for me is that the Penn Bioengineering pass rate for quals is very high. It's like close to 100%, if not 100%. You know, let, let's, let's keep it on the DL, you know, on this YouTube video. But yeah, I've heard of some departments that have like a 40% pass rate. They expect most of their students to fail and they give you a chance to try again next year. And um, I think maybe it's like two strikes and you're out, that kind of thing. So basically like if you don't pass your quals in those two times, then you just, you don't become a PhD candidate. You have to like, you know, maybe take a few more classes. You just leave with a master's, which is crazy in my opinion, because like you went through all this effort applying to PhD programs, you know, going through this rigorous application process and being a PhD is not guaranteed, you know what I mean? Like, you know, obviously you have to do good research, but like you have to pass these these exams, you know what I mean? But you know, hey, the uh, Penn Bioengineering Department doesn't do this, so it um, doesn't affect me. This will be a good opportunity for me to like, I guess like hibernate, you know what I mean? And like, just like, you know, work out, eat a bunch and um, read papers. You know, I don't really have a lot of time on my day to day to read papers. I probably read like one or two papers a week, if that, you know what I mean? And so now I'm gonna try to ramp it up to like, double that maybe? <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Hopefully five to 10 papers per day. I think it's a reasonable rule. So it's like, yeah, uh, if I work like five hours a day, it's like uh, a paper an hour. So uh, once I finish my quals, the rest of my PhD just looks like full-time research. So I finish my quals, I'll be a second year in the um, PhD program. This is year uh, four of my MD PhD. Oh my God. And uh, I just do full-time research, try to get, you know, one or two or three, you know, first author papers or four. We'll see how ambitious I am. We'll see how ambitious. And uh, by the end of it, maybe around year three or four, I will do a proposal. So I'm going to 
I'm going to present my body of work and propose what my thesis for my PhD will look like. And I will also propose a few more experiments for me to finish by the end of my PhD. So that proposal happens on year three, then on year four, I finally defend my PhD thesis. And this is just me presenting my entire body of work, submitting like a hundred page PhD dissertation. And um, I'm out of here. I go back to medical school after that for two more years. I've been joking a lot in this video, but on a real note, you know, the quals um, are a little stressful. I'm, I'm gonna be delving into a topic that I'm not as familiar with. I'm gonna have to read a lot of papers and come up with this novel, original scientific idea. That part's a little stressful. But still, you know, I find comfort in the fact that the pass rate is extremely high. And I think for MD-PhDs, it's like 100%, you know what I mean? I don't think the MD-PhD director would let us fail quals. Um, I say this now, <laughs> but of course, you know, I, I, I'm not gonna get complacent. I've you know, done a million exams in my life, and of course, I'm gonna spend a lot of time on this. It's not just gonna be for me to just pass this thing and get onto the next step, but it's also for me to um, you know, go through this very um, thorough, very rigorous exercise of learning about a new part of my field, of you know, coming up with novel scientific ideas, of becoming a better scientist, and, and this will ultimately only help me in my PhD by, by fleshing out different kinds of experiments I can do for my PhD, you know, so I, I'm really looking forward to this uh, this exercise. I think, um, you know, I'm gaslighting myself to be honest with you. I'm, I'm thanking my PI and I'm thanking the bioengineering department for putting me through this, uh, you know, stressful experience. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.